hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in this simple tutorial i'm going to be showing you the different text editors you can use on a chromebook for coding so this is some common question i see for every newbie using a chromebook i already have a tutorial about the different tools you need for coding on a chromebook but i wanted to share with you these new text editing softwares that i never shared in the other tutorial but still in this tutorial it's going to be covering even the previous tutorial that you watched if you're new to the channel then stick around so what you need to be having is the internet so just search for chrome web store web store and click that for google chrome and the first text editor that i recommend it's carrot just write carrot and search they will bring a lot of extensions for you what you have to do is come on your left hand side and filter down to apps so where you sing my cursor and i guess it will be the first app carrot it is offered by this site thomas will band.net so click there and first see the overview if it's what you're looking for they can show you can configure and get your custom theme as you're seeing in the picture so when you want this you can see when it's downloaded by these users if you want this just click to add to chrome and it will be added in your apps so the second one that i recommend it's called the code pan text editor so code pan let me search by that and let us filter down to apps i think we should add text let me just write text editor i guess they will bring it into the searches so it's here but still if you don't see it immediately just filter down to apps as i'm doing here so this is the text editor that i use right now as you can see it supports all your favorite languages so you can write css <laughs> html the markup language javascript and a lot of different languages as you can see here so for me what i know about this it easily works with frameworks, front end frameworks, but when it comes to executing or running back end languages, then you'll be having some problems with the Chromebook. So it's only like a designing tool. You can write your HTML, JavaScript, CSS, PHP code, but executing, that's when the problem comes in. So I guess it won't give you that runtime environment for back-end languages let us test this because i already have it as you can see launch app make sure you download it here it says 2 mbs but it takes around 11 mbs and that's some little data that it consumes when you're downloading it so make sure you download it and yeah start coding and another tool that I want to show you, it's a server, a simple server for Chrome. So just write web server for Chrome. And as always, they first bring you extensions. Just filter down to apps on your left hand side. And this is it. So web server for Chrome read about the overview as always and see how it goes so for these all the tools i have shown you i'm going to be showing you how you can use them right now so on my left hand side at the bottom there is a launcher here just click it if you're not seeing your app immediately you can easily search for it so i'm I'm going to write web server and this is it just click that and for the web server as you can see let me show you here the live example 
when you open a file let's say on windows it will put a long url or a directory a list directory of where the folder is found like your computer username the name of the folder subfolder and the file name but for this web server you can easily select the folder where you're carrying your project from so for me i selected this folder called projects I selected a folder called projects and this is the current folder just click this web server url and it open up the browser so these are all my projects that i share with you guys and some i have not then i'm going to use this for a demo current convert current converter and click html index.html so as you can see it gives you a limited URL, it just gives you the localhost port, the folder name, and the file. So you won't have this long URL that shows your computer username, subfolder, stuff like that. So you'll be having a simple server running on your Chromebook. Now let us test the text editor that I told you, the Conpan text editor. So as always, just come here. You can search for it this side. If not, sorry. Just search for code pan. Code pad, sorry. And this is how it looks like. By default, they will give you this template for JavaScript because it was created using JavaScript. This code pan. Just close that. You don't need it. So on my right hand side, at the top there is this new yellow button so when you click it you will see the different programming languages that it supports so it will have that syntax for you already created but as i told you executing this code may need another type of pc the functionality has not yet come on the chrome os so when you select let's say like html this markup language they will give you a boilerplate so you don't have to write the markup by yourself it already be there the next thing if you select like php they will give you a boilerplate so this is the opening tab for php stuff like that it will show you that it will show you even the extensions what else python will show you that is a py extension and a lot so the different types of languages that you can code in this simple text editor what you're going to do first i'm going to open for you a folder and see that you can co really code inside here so i'm just going to select this current converter the one i opened up in the browser and this is it so i only have this index.html file when i click it you will see it's a normal text editor like the others like the sublime text stuff like that so they will give you that colors so different colors or syntactical colors so let's say i come to the head section here i'm just going to put an inline style tag and show you that it really works so they have that even autocomplete tag function so you can say body and i say the background car so they have that even autocomplete future so they show you the different properties that you can use so i want a background sorry not image i want a background color and i'm going to use hash some dark gray save that and when we go back to our browser and refresh you can see we get this so that's how you can code on a chromebook so using these two text editors that i showed you carrot and this code pad text editor and this is my favorite one that i normally use when i'm using a chromebook so when you're just working with front end designs you can be using this but when it comes to back end languages 
I guess you can now refer to your Windows phones, Mac, stuff like that. But still, I guess some people turn these into Linux environments and they can be able to use those MySQL database stuff. But as always, I don't always stress my thing when it doesn't do something. I leave it the way it is. So that's it, guys. If in case you need this, I also have a tutorial on my channel. So just come here and search for Forex because it was a Forex currency converter. This is the tutorial. So that's it for this tutorial. This tutorial was useful to you. Please go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorials. Peace.